this video, we're going to go over product preview galleries. So in some of our website template templates, we have usually on the home page or, you know, maybe a different page where it would be like a product slider, like you'll see here in our joyful hearts. Um, template here. It's not a full shop, but it is a little slider that kind of previews some of your most recent products. So I wanted to go over some of the settings in case you wanted to adjust this to show a certain category or a certain collection, things like that. Um, this is helpful for if you do seasonal items. So that way that if you, um, you know, for example, maybe you have Christmas that you wanted to make your homepage a little bit more festive for Christmas and only display Christmas products because they're very seasonal, um, you can create a Christmas collection and I'm going to show you how you can adjust it on here. So what you're going to do is when you go over the, when you hover over it, you'll see that it says slider gallery. So it's not going to say shop. It's not going to say product page. It's going to say slider gallery. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings. And in here, this is this first where it says products. Right now it's displaying all products. So basically anytime you put a new product up, it's gonna show in this slider feed here. If you want, you could do related products if you've kind of tagged different products um, as you're adding your products to the store. If you want to display a certain collection, which is also known as like a product category, uh, you can hit like collection one, for example, which is just, for the sake of this template, those are like kind of our preview collections, one, two, and three. Um, however, maybe you have one that's Christmas, uh, journals, books, you know, things like that. So you can easily go through and select that and it will only display products within that collection. So for now, it's selected to all products, but that's how you can easily change it or add a collection here. So if you want to adjust the layout, so maybe you want it to stretch the full width, you can do that. It'll make the products bigger on the page and that should be fine for the mobile. You can also shrink it down just a touch. Um, if you want for, we're gonna adjust this here so you can see a little better. Um, if you want to adjust the look of how the product is showing, you can always click these different um, display stylistic you know and it shows different ways that you can display the products here so you can do that you can change the image ratios depending on if you want your images to be more oblong um, typically square you know some of these different ones depending on what your product photos look like um, and also you can change text alignment and how you want them to look you can have multiple products if you want four or five so the more that you go the smaller they will be um, just so you kind of know, you can space them out a little bit more. And so those are just kind of some of the settings as far as the layout of the grid goes. If you come over here to settings, um, you can also change like when you hover over this product, does it swap to the second image that you have? Does it zoom in? Does it create a border? Um, that's what these settings do. The what's displayed, if you want, um, you know, product name, price, if you want a little divider, the little line there. Um, gallery titles, so maybe if this is, um, instead, see how it says collection three, so maybe it just says your Christmas products. Typically, if you have a header or something like this, that's why we do hide this, so that way that your, um, you know, this kind of tells the audience what you need to know, and it's a little bit more stylistic to your site versus just adding the gallery title here, which is an option that you're able to do. Um, if you want people to easily be able to add it to cart, you can add a button down here. So that's one thing that you can do. When you go to text, this is um, out of stock. So if you keep stock when you're adding your products and you have um, stock options in there and you say, I have 10 in stock and it notices that you have zero in stock, this is what will display. Um, design wise, you can go here and you can go and adjust any of the colors and paragraphs. So that's your, um, if you want to change the fonts and font sizes for any of this, uh, you can go in here. Same for the name, for the product name and price down here. And then the button um, that if you wanted to like add to cart, that's your buttons here. Quick view, that is an option that you can turn on or turn off, depending on if you want customers to go to a full product page when they click on the product or like a mini pop-up box that pops up in the middle. So quick view is that pop-up box that pops up in the middle and just kind of gives people a quick 
view of the product essentially without leaving the home page per se. If you turn this off and they click on the product, it's going to go to that individual products page and they'll have to hit the back button to come back to the home page. So again, this is just more settings here. Um, and you'll see it says product name, price, SKU number. Um, if there's anything that you want to adjust the button style, you know, if you want to change the button color. So this is again where you can completely customize this little feed here, um, just through all these settings. And then if you go to manage, this is where you can go to manage your store. So when you go to add and edit products and then manage your collections. So this is just a quick preview of the home slider galleries um, that sometimes will set like on your homepage, things like that, if it's not the full shop preview.